Anthony coming to you live from the solar shed right now. And this video is for Dave Duros, 73. And he wanted to see how the thermostat wires are connected inside my Honeywell thermostat, which is, of course, controlling um, the temperature in my solar shed right now. So, Dave, I'm going to take this um, thermostat um, off the base so you can take a closer look on the inside. Okay, Dave, here we go. All right, so currently um, I have, let me just make sure I can see it very clearly here. It's kind of hard to see. I have a jumper cable right there. And um, it looks like it's going between, let me pull this back a little bit. It's hard to see these numbers, but it looks like R and Let's try and pull this jumper back so I can show you what I got. Looks like R and C right there. But anyway, um, there's a jumper cable going across there. That's a hard wire jumper cable. I, I didn't actually put that one in. Um, it came with that jumper cable right there. See that red jumper cable, Dave? Yeah, it came with that right there. Um, but then I have um, the red terminal that goes to the battery connecting to this side here let me put it back some okay here we go here we go here we go here we go we can see it much better now so it looks like RH and RC are jumpered together okay so RH and RC in the thermostat are jumpered together um, just think about this relay switch or this thermostat taking the place of this regular inline switch okay so I have the red wire here that's going to the positive terminal of the battery, all right? And then this other wire here is actually where it says, you see Y, that white wire, where it's connected to Y, to the Y terminal. That's actually going to the positive terminal of my fan, okay? So what this relay circuit is going to do is that whenever the relay engages it's going to connect this red wire Dave and this white wire closing the circuit thus there will be voltage on the positive terminal um, of the fan going to the battery all right so you see that right there I hope that helps you a little bit um, if not I can, of course I can always try to explain what I have a little bit further but um, here we have jumper together RH and RC and then I have where it says RC right there that's going to the positive terminal of the battery okay and then I have Y the Y terminal where I have that white cable that's going to the positive terminal of my little cooling fan right there okay so whenever this relay closes, it's going to just close the circuit, which means that RC and on the Y terminal, so RC and Y will now be connected whenever the relay circuit closes. So um, let me just get the thermostat so I can show you something further as well. See if you look. On the thermostat, I'm going to show you the settings I have here, and let me let me try and focus. I have it in the cool settings. You see that right there? It's on cool, right? So therefore, RC and Y will give you your cool settings, right? So RC and Y will give you your cool setting. Right, so when these two wires connect together, then this cooling function is going to be engaged. It's going to operate the cooling function. Okay, so you know it's going to probably vary depending on the model of the thermostat that you have. Um, looking at this right here, let me try and just focus. You see, the model number I have is a Honeywell RTH. 
23OB. That is a RTH23OB. So yeah, it's going to just vary depending on the model, but if you have this exact thermostat, okay, all you have to do is connect the positive terminal of the battery to the jumper the cables it could be either in RC or RH right there and then on that then you connect your your load to Y to the Y terminal okay so let me just try and just kind of draw this a little bit I know sometimes you know a picture is worth a thousand words um, let me try and find a pen or something well I don't have a pen but let me use my finger um, so here we go right here right so say, say for example I have the fan right here okay or the battery right here and the fan is here okay the negative terminal of the fan is already connected to the negative terminal of the battery and hold on one second I'll, I'll get a pen and kind of draw this a little bit Okay, here we go. I tried to just draw this little diagram so I can kind of explain what I have going on right here. Okay, so on this thermostat right here, okay, RH and RC are jumper together. So, try to draw a little thing just to represent the jumper, okay? So, the negative terminal, this is my battery right here. That's my battery, okay? So, the negative terminal on the battery is connected to the negative terminal on the fan right there okay see that Dave so the negative terminal of my battery is connected to the negative terminal on the fan okay so this is this is my battery right here it's my 12 volt battery okay negative terminal on my battery is connected to the negative terminal on the fan all right look at this now the positive terminal on my battery is going here on the thermostat. It's going to RH and RC. Show it to you. See right there? RH and RC. Okay? So that is where the positive terminal of my battery is going to. RH and RC. Okay. So look at this, Dave. Let's kind of look at this right now. The circuit is currently broken. And the reason why the circuit is broken is, is because these two terminals, RH and RC, are connected together. But the Y terminal is not connected to RH and RC. So in order for me to get a connection, a positive cable connection here between RH and RC to RY, the relay has to close here. That's the closest gap right here. So you notice what I have? So on the positive terminal on the fan, I have a wire coming all the way over here to the Y terminal. That's from a cooling setting. Okay? So when the relay engages, it's going to bridge these together. So this is just acting like the relay just acting like an inline switch, really. An inline switch. That's all the relay is doing, it's just acting like an inline switch. So when the relay closes, it's going to bridge RH, RC, and Y together. Thus, it's going to close the positive terminal of the battery. So all these right here are going to be connected together. So you see, it completes the circuit. See that? So without the relay in the fan, RH and RC are connected to themselves because they jumper together and I have the positive terminal of the battery coming here going to RH and RC then Y is going to the positive terminal on my fan the circuit is broken when the relay opens so when I set the temperature above the room temperature um, the relay is going to close this circuit right here RH, RC and Y will be closed like this thus it completes the circuit and then the fan is going to work. So I just kind of want to show you this. Maybe this will help. You know, just a pictorial representation of what I have. Maybe this will help some. So just look what I have one more time. 
Dave, positive terminal here, going to RH and RC on the thermostat. Then Y is going to the positive terminal of my fan. When the thermostat closes, it's just going to close the positive terminal. So RH, RC, and Y will be connected together. Right? So it's going to close the circuit. So all it's doing is closing the positive terminal of the battery. So it's going to close the circuit right here. Then the fan is going to spin. So that's all I have going on, Dave. So I hope this helps. And I'll just show you the wiring, the wiring one more time up here. So you can take a note and just see what I have. And this is the same as I have as I've drawn right here. See that? This is my thermostat. Okay, I hope this helps you, Dave. And thanks for the question. Have a great day. Bye.